Lolly, and this is my friend Nico. She's a little penguin, and she loves making art and crafts with me. In fact, we just did this entire big drawing right back there, and we're very proud of it. We wanted to show you how to do a special magic trick with it. You guys ready? Oh, here, Nico, let me take this um, from you. Oh. oh, no, she's got some uh, chalk on her. Here, let me help you get that off. Well, that's okay, it didn't all come off, but maybe we can take a bath later. Um, but in the meantime, you are a rainbow penguin right now. Oh, she loves being a rainbow penguin, <laughs> yeah. All right, we changed how we looked at that and that's fantastic. All right, are you guys ready to see our magic trick? Perfect, I have to get something for it. Can you guys help me? Ready? One, two, three. We did it! This is our frame that Nico and I made. Yeah, we could put a picture in it later, or this is how we're gonna do our magic trick. Look, I'm gonna scooch down so you guys can see the whole picture right behind me. Look, that frame is so big right now, isn't it? We can see everything. We can see, what do you guys see? The house, some rain, a rainbow, a pond. Do you see the kid hanging out underneath the tree? reading a book and there's apples growing on the tree right perfect that is the big picture that's pretty cool isn't it now I'm going to show you some of the smaller parts of the picture are you guys ready here we go one two three let's look at this part of the picture can you guys see what's going on in there I see some rain I see a house I see flowers Let's see, what do you guys think about that? Do rainy days ever make you grumpy that you have to stay inside, you can't go out and play? Yeah, me too. But that's okay. We can think of it another way. Here, let's get really close. Look, that's just a sweet little house, isn't it? You're hardly even noticing that it's raining. There's some pretty flowers outside and they're getting some water. And look, there's nice warm lights going on in there. I bet it's a pretty nice house to live in. Should we look at another part of the picture? Okay. Look over here. We have a kid who's reading a book under a tree next to a rainbow. That looks like a really pretty picture, doesn't it? A really nice way to spend your day. Hmm, I love those apples growing up there. Can you go get me some? Oh, no, that's just a drawing. It's just pretend you go. Aw. But yeah, that looks like a really nice picture. Hmm, we don't see that rain in the picture, do we? But it's there. Maybe if we pull it out a little bit more, see the big picture, we can see that it's coming, can't we? Should we see one more part of the picture? All right, let's give it a try, ready? One, two, three. All right, let's look at this part of the picture. <gasps> look, we can see the pond down there. We can see the, uh, the reeds and the cat's tails. Look over there, it looks like a little green thing. Maybe it's a frog or a turtle. I think there's one right there in the pond too. That would actually be a pretty great day if you were a turtle or a frog, wouldn't it? Yeah. So those are three different ways that we can look at this picture, right? We've got the house. Over there we had the friend under the tree. And over here we've got the pond. Let's talk about that for a minute. Ready? I'm gonna scooch back again so you can see me and Nico. I'm going to put the frame down. Ready? One, two, three. So there we are, back in our big picture again. We can see everything that's going on. It can be a lot, can't it? Do you guys ever have something where when you look at the big picture, you look at everything that's going on, it can make you feel worried or it can make you feel a little scared? Hmm. Yeah, that can be a little tough, right? Um, how about sometimes when you're looking at just a little tiny bit of the picture and that makes you worried or scared? Yeah, sometimes that happens too. But if you change where your frame is, what you're looking at, and whatever you're going through, that can help you sometimes. Sometimes if we're scared of something that's big that's going on, like I um, was talking to a friend the other day and she was talking about how she does not like this cold that's going on. She doesn't like, it makes her worried. And also it um, makes her sad that she has to hang out um, at her house and not see her friends for a little bit. And that's really true. I know Nico's been feeling that way too. I don't like not seeing my friends, but 
we're doing it because of the big picture, aren't we? We're doing that because we want to have a sunny day soon, don't we? We need to have rainbows and sunshine and all that kind of stuff. And that might mean that we have to stay in our house for a little bit, right? Yeah. How about um, if we bring the picture in closer, if the big picture is making us scared, if we bring it in closer, maybe we can see, look, right now, this is helping us to grow. It's helping us to get stronger, isn't it? Yeah, it's helping the flowers grow. Or if we look down here and we look at the turtles and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really kind of, in some ways, it could be a good situation because it can help the earth if we don't move around as much and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that is one way. Or another way, if we bring the picture in really close, we can look at all of the little special things that we can do right now. We can spend time with our family. Maybe we can read some good books. Maybe we can um, do some really cool crafts. There's all sorts of cool things that we can look at in whatever scenario that we're in. And right now I'm talking about the, co the big cold that's going on, but um, there might be other things in our life. I know I this happens to me all the time where I'll look at something, maybe something will make me grumpy or upset. Like maybe I have a friend and they're doing something else, you know, that I'm not included in. And that makes me sad sometimes where I'm just like, oh, well, I wish I could do that too, but I didn't get invited. But sometimes what I can do is I can switch my frame. I can switch how I'm looking at it and I can be like, you know what? This might be a good time for me to hang out with some of my other friends to make new cool friends, right? And I can keep the old ones and then I can also have fun with new people. Or maybe it's a good time for me to spend some time doing some cool things that I want to do on my own. Yeah. So it's always good to reframe things. We did this just a little bit earlier when Nico found out that she was a rainbow penguin, right? <laughs> yeah, that was a really good way of reframing that whole situation because she could have been grumpy that she had colors on her and that she got a little dirty with her craft, right? But instead we just switched it around, switched how we were looking at it. Instead of looking at the grumpy rainy situation, we were looking at, oh, okay, this is an okay situation. We just switched the frame. We reframed how we were looking at it and that helped a lot. Yes. Nico is a very smart, clever penguin. Oh. <laughs> and I'm glad that she had this idea to make this beautiful picture so that we could show you guys how you can reframe things anytime. So if you're having a tough time with something, just remember, sometimes you can just switch how you're looking at it and you can feel a lot better about it, right? I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. I hope that your frame, what's in your frame, is fabulous today. I hope that it makes you happy. And um, I hope that you're getting lots of hugs and doing lots of really cool things wherever you are. Oh, Nico wants to give me a hug. Thank you so much, Nico. You give really good hugs. Should we give some hugs to our friends back home? Oh, yep. This is how we're hugging you guys right now. So we're gonna give ourselves a hug and on the count of three, we're going to send it out to you. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, that was fun, Nico. Yeah, that's a way of reframing it too. We're finding new ways to show each other that we love each other, right? Yeah. All right, Nico, let's go. You think we should uh, make some rainbow bath right now? Yeah, we'll get you all cleaned up. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for talking to us today. We hope that you have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon. One, two, three.